How well does a new treatment for COVID-19 work? Eli Lilly's new treatment that was recently approved by the FDA has now made its way to Evansville. As we first reported, Dr. David Schultz with Evansville Primary Care was one of the first people to receive that new treatment after he tested positive for the virus last week. I spoke with Dr. Schultz just moments ago about the treatment and his recovery. Dr. Schultz, thanks for being with us again tonight. First off, it's now been six days since you received that infusion. How are you feeling tonight? Brandon, I'm feeling much better since the infusion. Um, I, I've noticed steady improvement every day, especially the first 24 to 48 hours, but I'm almost feeling normal today. I have no cough, I have no congestion, no runny nose, no body aches, and uh, my sense of smell and taste have already returned. I'm glad to hear that. That's great news. You were one of the first people to get that new treatment. Do you believe that treatment helped you? Really, Brandon, I think the uh, treatment um, that I got with the monoclonal antibody, it, it's, a, it's a game changer at least. And we've seen very positive results in the people that have been studied with it. So I think it's been a game changer and it's, it's sped up my recovery. And frankly, I think it's kept me from getting some of the pulmonary and respiratory problems that I otherwise could have gotten. Interesting. Well, as I said, it's been six days since you received that treatment. Is it still working in your body right now? The uh, monoclonal antibody is still in the body, keeping the viral counts down. And uh, now my body's immune system has uh, taken over to develop its own antibody response against the COVID-19 infection to give me some immunity over the next couple months. Okay. Now you had to travel to a hospital in Jeffersonville, Indiana for your infusion, but now at least one tri-state hospital has received a supply. Deaconess Hospital told us that it received 180 doses. Is that good news for people here in the tri-state who are battling the virus? Brandon, I think that's outstanding news. Um, it shows again that our local hospital efforts are, are working very diligently to try to bring current therapy to the forefront and to, tr to try to provide a very good treatment plan to our area tri-state uh, patients and so forth. I, I really am commending their efforts to get this going. Now, not everyone is a candidate for this treatment. Who is most likely to get the treatment and benefit from it? Right now, Brandon, the supply is limited. And so it's being reserved for a higher risk population. So it would be those with congestive heart failure, those that have arrhythmias, those who have severe respiratory and pulmonary issues. So right now it's being reserved for those individuals. But uh, I do understand that more is being ordered. I also understand that more is on the way. Well, that is good news. Dr. David Schultz, we're so glad that you're feeling better and we hope that your recovery continues to go very well. Thanks for being with us tonight. And of course, we'll be talking to you again soon. Have a good one.